Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Hilal Live. Thanks for joining us on Channel 347, also on our live stream, www.hilal.tv. Now, it's Women's Month, and uh, we focus on various uh, women or individuals, entrepreneurs that are just doing amazing things in and around our beautiful country. One such person is uh, a lady from uh, Shahida Sali Scarf Styling, and in studio we've got Sister Shahida Sali. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, and shukran for having me. My absolute pleasure. Shukran for coming into studio as well. What made you go into the scarf styling industry? Um, scarf styling came about when I was selling um, scarves and, and headwear mm -hmm. um, as a side hustle. Okay, all right. And um, as a strategy to sell more scarves, I created different styles, nice. you know, like one scarf can do so many other things. Nice. And then this, I um, did a compilation almost from just selling the scarves, and I decided to um, compile it into a book. Oh, nice, which yeah. you've brought with yes. you as well. Yes. Okay, nice. So in this book, you take the ladies through how to style the scarves. Yeah, so it's a step-by-step -step okay. instruction image um, taking you through step-by-step okay. -step on how to style the different scarf styles. Okay, okay, that's yeah. very interesting. Yeah. I don't know anything about star scarf styling. I'll, I'll take your word for it. But how do you make the scarves itself? Are they made locally? Are they made abroad? Yes, I, I buy from local um, stockers. Nice. So you're empowering some of our entrepreneurs yes. here as well? Yes. It's my passion to actually um, support our local businesses, especially the female local business. So mm. I've been buying from the, um, the Muslim lady retailers. Stunning. I like that as well. And we're going to give out some of your details a bit later just so people can get hold of you. Okay. But there are a lot of people selling scarves. I mean, if you go yes, to the market, we often cover markets and uh, as a channel. Uh, what, what makes your scarf styling industry or business different from others? Um, my type of scarves that I, that I used to sell, um, I always ensure that it was completely different. Mm -hmm. It always had a high fashion look to it. Nice. Um, and I always stock like various colors and styles, and sure that it was very diverse as well. Um, and then recently, two years ago, mm -hmm. I created a ready to wear turban, which I call the Azira turban, okay. which has been selling very, very well. Brilliant. Yes. Okay. Um, it's one turban that you can actually um, style into different looks. Nice. Um, and I created with the mind that, you know, women is always busy, always in our race, mm. but she wants to look good. So. Yeah. And at the same time, you don't want your scarf to fall off your head no. as often, so no. it fits quite... Yes, and also because of the way that it's de designed and created, you okay. don't need any pins or anything. Right. I just want to find out, in terms of scarves and the way women wear their scarves, do they wear it differently in different countries? Or do you find there's sort of a baseline, but you can alter it a little bit? Um, we, I think internationally, we have like a base um, style. Okay. Um, but each country almost um, lead to the, the heritage mm. of that particular country. I see. Okay, you know? I get you. Because, I mean, even in, in African countries, if you go through yes. some of the, I mean, uh, the ladies style their scarves so wonderfully with, you know, different patterns as well. Yes. And not just Muslim people. I mean, non-Muslim yes, as well. Yeah. Um, now, exciting news. You've been invited to the Miami Modest Fashion Week. Uh, how did that come about? Um, my, my Miami Modest Fashion Week, the founder, her name is Nosha Muhammad, um, from Miami, America. Mm -hmm. She started following me in, 19, in 2019. Brilliant. And then in 2020, she contacted me and she said she loved what I was doing mm -hmm. um, because I tried to be diverse and different right. um, and she loved what I was doing she loved the way I was styling okay. um, and she really wanted to be me to be part of her fashion week okay. um, and I remember it was in COVID mm -hmm. when she wanted me to do a feature 
and we did it online on um, Instagram Live. Nice. And that was the start of our relationship and our collaboration. Nice. So the Miami Modest Fashion Week, has that been going for many years? It's an annual event. Okay. And it showcases international modest fashion designers. Stunning. Yeah. Now we've got quite a few and you're part of that uh, you know, yes, group now, that yes, esteemed group as well. But this year's event is not held in Miami. Where is it going to be held? Okay, so what they've decided is they will have a dual um, fashion week, mm-hmm. which will take place in both Miami and in Malaysia. Okay. And um, hey, we've got roots, especially roots in Cape Town. There, yes, and I mean, when I informed about our Cape Malay heritage, mm-hmm. she was really, truly so interested that she asked me to actually come in and actually share um, the history and the heritage of the Cape Malays. Sorry. So she's created a platform for me, especially um, to bring some artifacts what an honor. and some history and, yeah, just to um, educate the international forum that's going to be there. Right, so um, it's going to be held in Malaysia. Uh, when are we looking at? The dates? Um, it starts on the 23rd okay. to the 26th of October. Oh, nice. Just around the corner. Very much so. And um, I've been requested to contribute quite a bit. Okay. So as much as you say contributing, you also need to pay for your own air, air flight. Do you need to pay for your hotels and things like yes, that? Yes. Um, you know, the opportunity is there and the exposure is there, but it always comes at a cost. Mm. And um, it comes at the, um, the, the invitees supply, yeah. cost, you yeah. know. Right. Um, so... Currently, I am um, looking for funding. Okay. Um, because it's um, a cost about um, just under two and a half okay. thousand um, US dollars. Right, right. Which uh, it's about seventeen to eighteen at the moment. So we're looking at close to thirty six, thirty eight thousand, yeah, yeah. thirty eight thousand rand. And that is just for the event itself. Right. Um, and excludes your flight okay so, so our on. audience that's listening if you'd like to be part of this uh, amazing event and if you'd like to help uh, shahida uh, we're going to give out some details shortly and you could uh, get hold of shahida and maybe contribute uh, are you going to try and have any fundraising closer to i well, do i am already and um i would really truly appreciate this opportunity mm-hmm. um because i would literally be representing cape town south africa mm-hmm. Um, and I would definitely go out and um, provide them with our own local fashion designers. You're basically going to be an ambassador yes. for South African fashion. Yes, I am. And yes. the niche that you, you uh, have specialized in as well. But once you attend this event, what does it do for you and your business? How is this going to change your life? Um, it will bring more exposure internationally. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, Miami Modest Fashion Week already wants a product that they want to sell nice. on their website. Um, I've also been requested to um, produce 20 different headpieces oh, wow. for the runway, for the different designers. Um, and that in itself was also a great honor because mm-hmm. I'll be doing it in my designer name. Stunning. Yes. Um, and then also they are looking at um, creating this platform mm-hmm. for me to share the Cape Malay heritage, which I'm very, very excited about because it's Stunning. really true in my passion. Stunning. You know? I've had the guys from the Cape Heritage Museum in not too long ago as well, and I was just in awe at the amount of work they've put in. So I can only imagine how proud you are to express our heritage uh, that we have so many links with with Malaysia, Indonesia, Yes, yes. Uh, and, and they are even more excited, you know. Brilliant. How do people get hold of you if they'd like to assist? Maybe there's a company that can supply your air tickets. Maybe yes. there's a company that's got hotel links in Malaysia. What is the best methods? Um, they can contact me via email, okay. um, which is shaydasali mm-hmm. at gmail.com. All right. 
or they can, um, I don't want to give out my number, no but I think so the Gmail is fine. It's the best. Yeah. Well, look, your, your business name is under your socials, I would imagine, uh, yes. your various social yes, media platforms, is. and they could possibly message you. We've got the details on the screen. Uh, people can possi possibly message you. Yes, they will okay. also find me on Instagram okay. and Facebook, and I have a website as well. Great. Okay, Shahida, uh, let's get you to Malaysia. I'm sure people are really going to... It would be such uh, an opportunity, not just for me, like I said, it would be to actually go and expose our local fashion, right. our modest fashion designer hub in Cape Town. Yeah. Not in Cape Town only, but in, in South Africa. Absolutely. I would imagine your style of scarves just make women feel a bit good about themselves as well. Yes, when you, when I, you show them the different styles. They love it because... What it's new, it's um, fashionable, yeah, uh, but it's modest. Uh, of course, that's the most important yes, thing, right? Yes, yeah. And and uh, and you would cater for you know people that are home executives and people that are executives that work in companies as well yes, that I would do. like to I style do. their scarves differently. Yeah, and also I've created, I've started creating for children as well. I've been requested oh, to create for children as well. That's great. Yeah, uh, I, I think uh, a lot of the Muslim schools may appreciate. Uh, some of the designs you have. Yes, yes, yes. Because let's face it, when they get to school, they have a particular way they need to wear their scarves. But if they still want to, you know, maintain their modesty when they go out with their friends. Yes, yes. You, I've you encouraged start. quite a few young women who, you know how it is with, with, with starting with wearing your scarf and yes. so on. And, um, you know, the fact that it's very fashionable and it can actually um, match your ensemble Mm. is what makes it a bit easier for them. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, they want to be trendy, but they also want to be modest at the same time. Yes, I yes. I got it. Okay. Shahida, all the very best with you. Uh, I'm sure Thank our so audience, much. we have a very, very kind audience, and they're going to reach out. Inshallah, they can assist where possible. I know as an entrepreneur, these are expenses you don't cater for. Yeah. But uh, it's going to open up many doors inshallah. for you, inshallah. And uh, may all your future projects grow from strength to strength, inshallah. inshallah. Thank you for having me. My absolute pleasure. And yeah. All the best. Have a great evening. You too. Thank alaikum. you so much. You're welcome. Salam. So there we go. Shahida Sali. Get hold of her at Shahida Sali Scarf Styling. And uh, you could, if you can contribute and help get this young lady to Malaysia, it would be really appreciated. Um, after the break, we continue with Hilal Live. I'm your host, Lukman Shadrach.